I'll upload and eat it. Oh, maybe. I mean, updated me. I forgot it's, it's just like an update it's like that. Or not. Because it's a Super Mario game. I doesn't need updates on day one. to a game, to a new series, and a new game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder on Nintendo Switch, of course. Uh, I am the Schmon, I guess I'm still doing the intro for, the old intro for, um, games, for game series, because why not? I mean, I don't do it for every video in the game series, but still, maybe for the first video in the series. How about that? But anyway, so yeah, I'm actually really, really excited for this game. I'm not feeling great. I I'm not feeling great at all. But we'll see how I, I we'll see how long I can do this for. Well, help chill me up. So yeah, let's get started. Who needs to start button? I select the user. Yeah, remember we're playing on a Switch, so we gotta use the Switch controller. I'm player, players one. You got the four players. That's nice. And you have all sorts of characters. Like blue, you got Yoshi's, the Toads, Toadette even, oh, the bats. What, you got Toadette? Well, of course, plays Mario. Oh, Yoshi and Nibbits don't, Yoshi and Nip, Yoshi's and Nibbits don't want to damage, but also transform the power-ups. Okay, so they're good for younger players, I guess. Or for people that just want to run through the story of the game. I mean, it's a, it's a 3D title, there's only so much story to be had, but anyway. So yeah, let's... Oh, interesting, nevertheless. I wonder if this is like Super Mario Bros. 2, the American version. Uh, I think one has different different stuff going on, but anyway. Oh yeah, um, that reminds me. Charles Marnett, I think the reason why he was in the main... He was at the main Mario... He wasn't Mario in the Mario movie is because he retired. He announced his retirement a few a month or two... Or he announced his retirement last month or so, before this game came out. I'm, I'm playing this on day one or day two. It's 2 a.m. Um, and Charles Barnett is no longer the voice of Mario. In fact, the Mario movie was the first time he wasn't. And his last appearance as Mario was for uh, Mar was for um, Super Mario and the Rabbids uh, Kingdom Battle, I think. Whatever the second one is, the new one. So we have a completely new voice for Mario, and it's a lot younger, <laughs> obviously. I mean, I guess not obviously, because they could have chose an actor with similar age to uh, Charles Burnett. Okay, it's been out. But they didn't, they chose one more closer to Mario's age, which is interesting, because Mario's supposed to be in his 20s. Kind of, it's debated if he was always supposed to be in his 20s. Uh, because a long time ago, it, it was supposed he was supposed to be supposed to be middle aged, but apparently middle aged in Japan is in their twenties. That sucks. Um, but anyway, uh, at least was in their twenties and eighties, which maybe is more understandable than today. Um, but anyway, well, in the Flower Kingdom, it's just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom, aren't they all? Upon receiving an invitation from Prince Florian, Mario and others are traveling here for the first time. All right, and we're into the game. We jump with B, okay. Not Y though. I really high jump, and I do love I do love how this cap flies off. Actually, let me turn down the TV volume real quick. Cause I can do that now. And now that I have a sofa baton universal remote. Oh, I did nothing. Oh, I did nothing. I'm gonna have to turn down the actual those speaker volume. And also monitoring this recording on console. I'm very nervous this won't work very well. But I did everything in my power to make it work out. Uh, I did everything in my power to make it work right away. Whoops, sorry for blasting your ears. 
My check, my check, my check. My check, my check, my check. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. Well, I hope that's fine. We do have two separate files. I thank for game audio and live commentary, but we'll see. Voice acting! Luigi? Luigi's not gonna talk? Let's say the Wonder Flowers talk. Nib it. Just showing all the new characters. Just showing all the characters. Yeah, uh, these things. Uh, what he said. Also, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That was very nice. I had another for menu and so you can play, but anyway. Oh, look, Wonder Flower. Uh, it's Prince. Uh, of course, Bowser's there. Yeah, it's to join always. Uh oh. Mario was close. He was halfway. More, more than anyone else. That does look really good. Well, here we go. Maybe. We'll see. I'm liking this new 2.5D art style. A lot, actually. It is heavily reminding me of a Ruby Arrow, Arrow fell. I mean, yeah, a Ruby Arrow fell, which you need to, which you need to play. And not Arrow fell, uh, The 2.5D RPG Ruby. We, we need to play that again soon. But no, no doubt, that's, like, it's shockingly close to that art style. When the citizens got kidnapped... So it's Geisel. Oh, no, I'll voice that. Good, good. Uh, Prince Florian. Was that King, was that King Bowser? How could he steal our Wonder Flower and our Flower Castle too? It, it, it's, it's Bowser. He does that thing. He, he does the stealing. I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's just so awful. Bowser would be a terrible mess for our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. No more Mario gangs there. Yes. Hoppa, thank you. I like to be your guide if you don't mind. Just let, let me just. Okay. Mark's getting a lot of friends that run, that run his back on his head lately. Of course, still she's a nibbit. Only they talk. Yeah, that is a bit odd. Probably because they're because probably because you guys see them in motion and motion things. I mean, and we get to see text while actually playing it. They should talk, but anyway, I'm not quite sure what we'll be doing uh, exactly how far we'll get today. We probably should stop after the first world because, uh, you know, um, just to check to see if the coring worked. And I'm feeling much better <laughs> because I'm playing Mario, of course. I'm playing a new, I'm playing a new mainline Mario game. Jeez, that's a big one since Odyssey. And Odyssey came out a long time ago. Uh, welcome to Flower Kingdom, difficulty one. Oh, that's why, that's when there's no, uh, jumping on A, because you jump, because you got stuck to pay. Welcome to Flower Kingdom. Okay. Yeah, the controls are, the more not, not have momentum. It, it, I think he just has a lot less momentum than usual. 
Good, no coins. Great. I love it. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, you can't punch like you can in uh, like you can in the 3D game sometimes. <laughs> That's fucker. Yeah. Get extra. Okay, so, so the elephant Mario punches. Maybe he does more stuff, but we'll see. And why only they talk? Any extra big, extra large. Now they don't like Goobles don't like water apparently. <laughs> like Yoshi's for, uh, Yoshi's on Defina Island. Which tell you about they could just be creations of uh uh, uh, the water. F block's really short. Uh, and also, you don't jump as high in the, uh, the elephant. Why? Why? Uh, why does it have such a disadvantage? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe that's why. Oh, because that's a checkpoint. Okay. Oh, give me a power old pluck candy. Here we go. First wonder flower. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm really disappointed with Elephant Mario's jump. Oh. No, we're doing so good. Last one. Last one of the big ones. Nope, nope, just missed it. We're doing so good. Do we go back? Oh no, they're just constantly like, spawning. Good, that's fine. I can't just myself this point. Kind of reminds me. Ah, oh, wonder seat. Why doesn't hurt him? Bye bye. Thank you. You didn't talk. Why didn't you? Oh, the the five poles are rolled good. Oh, wait, you didn't talk good. Oh. Back to normal house. Second wind speed. I wonder if it's possible. That is the flower kingdom. Wonder seeds are gonna be really useful in the winter. Come on, let's go and get some more. We're almost, we're almost at uh, we're almost at 100 coins. Like I said, I'll be right back. Whether or not this be an entire video or not, we'll say it depends on if I come back and play some more. If I feel better, I, I'm actually feeling really excited. We we did really well. Of course, it's world one, but the slight more limited movement because you don't have the most momentum. You got a lot more jump, and the, and the jump stages are so well defined now. I like them being well-defined, and I like them being gigantic, but I don't like how Mario's movement's more stiffened. Again, this really reminds me, like, Ruby Era fell, or whatever it was. Hold on. Um, where is it? It's in there somewhere. Um...
Yeah, Ruby Arrow. I was getting it right. Yeah, it really reminds me of Ruby Arrowfeld. I like a lot. Like, Ruby Arrowfeld does not look nearly this good, but both have really stiff moving mechanics. Really, really, really stiff moving mechanics. Of course, Arrowfeld stiffer. Um, I'll have to play more, but like, what, what's always been keen with Mario games is his momentum, especially the 2D Marios. And they kind of got rid of it. I uh, wonder if a power-up's going to happen and be really, really, really hard to use for people who are used to the new movement, but yeah, no. The game, like, the game looks really, really pretty. Its pacing seems to be really good. But, uh, as far as you can tell from the intro, and uh, the intro of the menu, and the level world, and the uh, uh, and the first level. I bet the rebels are long. <laughs> now, comparing it to Super Mario Bros. 85, comparing it to Super Mario Bros. 85, which is, it should be the standard Mario game, where you compare all the rest to. It's, uh, it, it's interesting. I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, yeah, uh, I guess if you're wondering, is it worth it? If it's more than eight hours, yes. If it's more than eight hours going at a normal pace for the average gamer, yes, it's worth it. Uh, if it's less than that, I don't think it is. If anything's like this, if, if it's all through, if it's all like this first level, um, if there's... I mean, I hope for a gradual difficulty curve, some secret levels and whatnot. But I do kind of fear this game is either going to be really, really long for a Mario game, which is fine, that's a good thing. But I much prefer when Mario games have a moderate, have an 8 hour, an 8 to 20 hour campaign. And then you do a ton of the collect, you do collect the fonts, and then you go through the, and then you go through all the extra content. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to like it if every level, if the first world is going to be this, this easy. Uh, that's going to disappoint me. I mean, it, 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 to me, it's a fact that, to me, in my experience, it's true that uh, that Mario games have become a lot easier because I beat them more often. Like I can beat every single Mario game after Sunshine, or I, I can beat every single Mario. Let's rephrase that. I can beat every single mainline Mario game, both 3D and 2D, after essentially after Sunshine. Yeah, and I have beaten Mario Sunshine. It's just a very, it's a very hard game. Uh. Yeah, yes, I've gotten really good at being games, and yes, my main issue with being games is simply not stopping to play single player uh, campaigns anymore. Like, I, like with the fine beginning and end points, like, I don't play them much anymore, if at all, other than Pokemon. But that's something Mario Wonder is one of them. So yeah, I'll be right back, if not uh, in another video, because 90 minutes is okay. I'm gonna upload the other video with this one. By the way, so I'll be right back. And I guess, uh, thanks for watching. Do be sure watching this video. Because you can watch me share all this stuff in the description, such as various videos, for sure, of course, for sure, 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 for sure,